Earlier this month, back on October 4th, 2022, CD Projekt announced their long-term product outlook, revealing some of the projects that they're currently working on and some of the projects that we'll see ways down the line. It includes new Witcher games, a cyberpunk sequel alongside the Phantom Liberty expansion for 2077, and even a brand new IP. When it comes to The Witcher, Project Sirius is a project being created by the Molasses Flood in partnership with CD Projekt, and the Molasses Flood is a part of the CD Projekt umbrella. There is a brand new Witcher trilogy in development by CD Projekt Red proper, and this is essentially a follow-up to The Witcher 3. And then there is this project called Canis Majoris. We had very vague details of it at the time. All we knew was that it was being made by a third party and that it'd be using Unreal Engine 5. But aside from that, not much else. CD Projekt Red went into a bit more detail with this tweet right here. Canis Majoris is a full-fledged Witcher game separate to the new Witcher saga starting with Polaris. It'll be developed by an external studio headed by experienced developers who have worked on past Witcher games. And then here we have a PDF from the official CD Projekt website that describes the various long-term projects in development, among them being Canis Majoris, a full-fledged release set in the Witcher universe to be developed by an external studio under the supervision of experienced developers who have previously worked on Witcher games. In terms of tech, we intend to use Unreal Engine 5 and the toolset created for Polaris, which is the new Witcher trilogy that's also being made on Unreal Engine 5. So technology-wise, those two projects are going to be very closely tied together. On the same website, you can also find this PowerPoint slide where Project Canis Majoris is is described as a story-driven, single-player, open-world RPG set within the Witcher universe. And once again, it is reiterated, it's made by a third-party studio led by ex-Witcher veterans. So we got some very basic details, but overall it's been shrouded in obscurity until today when CD Projekt announced that together with Fool's Theory, they're working on remaking The Witcher, The Witcher 1, using Unreal Engine 5. This project is the one codenamed Canis Majoris, and they said we want to do this right, so please be patient. It's going to be a while until we can share more details. This project is likely one that's more in the earlier stages of development. In fact, if we go back to the PowerPoint presentation, you can see that Project Canis Majoris does not list a development status, whereas projects like Polaris are said to be in the pre production stages and project series even is set to be in pre-production so perhaps these two projects will see a release first before canis majoris hard to say for sure embedded on the twitter post is this link to an official website that kind of briefly summarizes what this Witcher Remake project is all about. The Witcher Remake is in development. We're thrilled to announce that the Witcher Remake is being worked on. That's right, the game that started it all is being rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5. The game is currently in early stages of development at the Polish studio Fool's Theory, where veteran Witcher series staff are involved. We at CD Projekt Red are providing full creative supervision. The Witcher remake is what you might know by the codename Canis Majoris. It's still early, and we want to ensure that the game is created with the utmost care and attention to detail. Therefore, while we're excited to share news with you, we want to ask for your patience as it will be a while until we start talking about this project in detail. Fair enough. I'm liking this move by CD Projekt to just straight up lay it out there, you know, what's being worked on. So it's not all, you know, secretive as the games industry tends to be. Now, they've got a very ambitious lineup here. And yes, this is very much a long term outlook, but they are pushing themselves in terms of frequency of releases. Alongside this announcement, they said that the new Witcher trilogy, for example, will be released in a six year period, meaning that starting from the release of the first game in this new Witcher trilogy, six years will pass before the other two come out. Out. That's alongside all of these other projects in the Witcher realm, in the cyberpunk realm, and the new IP that they're working on. So, yeah, they got a lot on their plate. Hopefully, these are all projects that they can efficiently juggle, especially now that they've shifted to Unreal Engine 5 as an engine, which is probably more efficient than just, you know, upgrading the red engine that they've been using all these years. And hopefully, Canis Majoris will be a remake worth remembering and worth celebrating. But yeah, Full Theory itself made it official when they retweeted the Witcher's announcement here saying, yeah, we're doing it. And going to their official website, you can see the kinds of games that they've already worked on, including 7 Enhanced Edition. And they were or are also a support studio for projects like Divinity Original Sin 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Outriders, and more. Alongside those, they're working on a brand new project called Codename Vitriol, which is not CD Projekt related. 
and now they've got the Witcher remake on their plate, which is still in very early stages of development, and again, which we probably won't see for a while longer. So Fool's Theory doesn't have a whole lot under its umbrella, but the Witcher remake will definitely prove to be their big breakout project. It's the one that if they really succeed on, I think it'll put their studio's name on the radar and uh, will allow them to really expand and grow as a studio. And with CD Projekt Red fully backing this project, the hope is that they'll get all of the resources and support that they need to make the best remake possible for what is a pretty old game at this point. Recall that the very first Witcher game came out on PC back in October 30th, 2007. That's roughly 15 years ago, and by the time the remake comes out, It'll have been a few years longer even. The Enhanced Edition, which significantly improved upon the rocky foundations of the original, came out a year later on September of 2008. You can see that the reviews are pretty decent, but there's also no denying that the game hasn't aged particularly well. It looks pretty rough compared to the likes of Witcher 2 and certainly Witcher 3. The same could be said about the gameplay. It's, you know, still playable. It's not like the worst thing ever but it's definitely one that could use a remake treatment. It's one where a remake treatment makes a whole lot of sense, and the internet generally agrees with the sentiment. So Nibel here, for example, tweeted about this, and responses down here include Susie Hunter, who said, wow, a game that deserves the remake, even Enhanced Edition can get a little, and you can see right here how rough it looks and how technically rough it can be from time to time. You've got people like Dudu here saying probably one of the better uses of a remake, considering how clunky the first game was in a non fun way. Scrolling further down, you'll find people saying, ah, a remake that makes sense, showing a screenshot of the original Witcher. Zooming into this image, you can see that, yeah, this game looks pretty damn old. And again, it plays roughly enough that some kind of overhaul would be very welcome. In general, this is an announcement that the internet is celebrating, especially in light of more recent remake announcements that people are like, huh? Wait, this one makes no sense whatsoever, namely Horizon Zero Dawn. That's not to say that there aren't other remakes that do make a whole lot of sense. I think people are really excited for Resident Evil 4 remake. That game still holds up pretty well, but it does feel old enough where a remake could really spruce things up. And RE4 remake, based on the most recent showcase, looks really freaking good, capturing the spirit of the original while modernizing everything that needs to be modernized from the graphics to the gameplay if this uh, Witcher remake that's being built from the ground up with Unreal Engine 5 can pull off something similar and really expand the fidelity, scope, and features of the original, yeah, it could be a really successful project, a really welcome one at that. And because Witcher 1 is kind of hard to go back to, you know, so many years after its launch, given, again, how rough it can feel compared to Witcher 2 and Witcher 3, it almost is a bit of a missing link. It's like the one game that I feel like people right now don't want to go back to as much as they can go back to Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 and still have a relatively enjoyable time with those. So a Witcher 1 remake that can kind of link the original trilogy in light of the new trilogy coming out, I think it all kind of does make sense. I know there's some discourse on the internet on whether this trend of remakes is ultimately a good one. I think it depends on the project. Again, Horizon Zero Dawn to me, that one really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It came out in 2017, only five years ago. It still holds up pretty well. There's a PC port now that allows you to crank up the graphics and performance. There's a PS5 patch that allows you to play Horizon Zero Dawn really smoothly, and it looks really good on PS5. It, it really doesn't need a remake, I feel. But if a game's old enough and, you know, you can introduce it to a new generation of gamers who missed out on the original or who have a hard time going back to the original because it's aged enough, in a scenario like that, a remake for me is very welcome. And The Witcher, that's one that I actually never got to finish. And it's honestly one that I don't feel particularly motivated to go back to. But this remake right here, this is one that I'll certainly keep my eye out for and something that I wish the folks at Full Theory alongside CD Projekt Red the best of luck on. Get this one right. You know, The Witcher is a very special game because it did ultimately kickstart CD Projekt Red, which has become one of the biggest game studios in the world. And they've been self-published and they've released some iconic games like Witcher 3. And Cyberpunk 2077, despite its rough launch, has now gained sort of a big wave of new players and returning players because it's improved dramatically since launch and because Cyberpunk Edge Runners was such a good show that made you miss the setting and want more of the setting and things like that. 
So hopefully they can keep this ball rolling and, you know, redeem themselves after what happened with Cyberpunk 2077 with uh, hopefully the successful launches of all these projects that they're working on at the same time. But yeah, we'll see what happens in the long term. Generally, I am excited about the prospect of a Witcher remake. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on CD Projekt's latest announcement. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews and discussions, Stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.